I've made myself a little cafe. It's got skylights, an outdoor eating area, but I want it to actually scream, cafe. So to do that, we need to change this from an empty room into a cafe. And to do that, I need these. I've chosen dark oak because it's a high tonal contrast to the white and the sea lanterns and the prismarine. You can choose whatever you want. You can make it contrast with your cafe. You can make it complement it. Colours that pop, colours that blend, whatever you want. But you will need stairs, slabs and trapdoors. I've also got extra planks and extra logs so that I can make extra fences when we get that far. I'm also grabbing quartz stairs, a redstone comparator and some flower pots. We have random carpet, a diamond which we'll get round to later, some discs and a chest. The leaves are for decorating outside. So let's get started. I'm putting my trapdoors on the bottom of the second block up. If you aren't going to have villagers in here, you can put it on the top of the bottom block. If you are having villagers, make it the bottom of the second so that they can't jump out. You can, they can't. One, two, three, four. I'm going five across and then one, two, three. And this makes our little service area. Next, the slabs to make a little counter. And now we have our quartz stair, our comparator, and our pots. These are to make a coffee machine. Upside down quartz stair, you want a comparator facing away from the wall and then click on it once to turn it into subtract mode so that this little light at the front is constantly lit. Once your coffee machine's made, put down your coffee cups. I'm using flower pots. I was going to put two there, but I've changed my mind about that. Instead of putting an extra coffee cup, we're going to make a cake. We need three buckets of milk, one egg, two lumps of sugar and three wheat. Let's just pop into the crafting table area. Now it's very simple. Wheat along the bottom, egg in the middle, sugar either side, and then add your milk, your wet ingredients. One cake. Be very careful setting down your cake. Once it's down, you either eat it or you destroy it, even with a silk touch. So, one cake ready to serve customers. Let's put in our chairs and tables. I think one in front of the window would be nice. And one here. Um, another one in the corner with a nice view out to the fields. And another one here. So just think about how's your favourite cafe set up? How many chairs and tables do they have? Do you want that sort of set up? Do you want something different? And place your tables and chairs accordingly. I'm going to put another one here. Oh, I can shift that box. Okay, let's shift the box. And let's put another one here by the door. Um, and uh, that's a thoroughfare. We don't want their table bumped every time someone comes in the door. We'll put uh, I'll think about in here. All right, let's go out under the awning. This is a nice outdoor area where people can sit. So let's start putting tables and chairs down. Start with our chairs. There 
there we go we'll leave the doorway clear and another one here I'll get some more chairs okay back with some more chairs now just plan out where you want them to go whether you want thoroughfares for easy passage so I want clear access to the doors do you want seats in the sun like these or is this going to just be access up have a think about it all and then place your chairs accordingly tables next pop your table legs in I'm using dark oak fence you could use any colour you like. You could use a single steel bar. That might be quite nice. You could use end rods if you needed the light. I've got floor lighting, so I'm not particularly worried. And then pop the bin in here. Now, the advantage of end rods is you don't get this. I'm just going to have to live with that. Um, I'm actually taking this out. And we'll put in um, put in a table here there we go now I took that out because we're going to make one more thing we are going to make a jukebox I'll get the records and the chest ready let's go make a jukebox Jig boxes are easy. Wood all around the outside. One diamond in the middle. And there's a jig box. Time to install it. Uh, there. I'm putting a chest on top and our records in the chest. We are almost done. We've got to put tabletops in. I'm using carpet. You could use pressure plates. It's up to you. I thought about using white, but I think that would be too much white inside. So I have some cyan and some light blue. There we are. Outside, I am going to use white tablecloths. There we are. Now that awning is not much protection from anything. So let's fix that. Put our carpet away and get our oak leaves. Right, up we go. Got to be careful not to fall down some of the holes. I am going to, whoops, remember to press shift click. <laughs> some of them are gates, some of them are fences. Okay, I'm going to cover the top of this, not entirely but largely, with oak leaves. There we are. Now I've left some holes here and there. We really need to get back a bit to have a look. You could use any leaves for this. I'm just using oak because I've got a lot of oak leaves. Right, that's okay for the top. But now we want to just bring it out and down the sides a little. See, that already looks better. So we'll do the same here. And just throw them around as you see fit. Um, I'm going to bring it right down onto that roof. Yeah, that's better. You could put vines on as well, but I find that vines tend to go a bit crazy and you end up with vines everywhere. But choice is yours, your build, do what you'd like. So just have a play with the leaves until you're happy. Keep it a little bit random. 
Unless you want a very manicured look. It's entirely up to you. Let's have a look. How's that? Yeah, I like that. There we are. I'll be putting um, smooth stone slabs along here to hide that. Now that is much more pleasant to sit under. One last thing in the corner here. I'm popping the plant. Now because it's leaves, it won't block that light. You could put pictures on the walls in here if you wanted. Otherwise, it's done. Now, you can build a cafe however you like. You can build it wherever you like. This one's built in a cave. The other one was freestanding. I've still got my counter. I've still got my coffee machine. And I've put this one on red concrete so that it has an actual base. I might go back and do that in the other one. Because that sort of looks quite nice, doesn't it? Like a freestanding machine. And the cake I have surrounded by glass panes because the panes will not join onto the cake. And I've put carpet on top to make a little glass display case. Here I have used end rods because there are lighting issues and the floor is entirely wool blocks, which takes a fair bit because that way I don't have issues with carpet and a different floor showing under the tables. I've got larger tables here because I've got more space and I've got lots of small tables. The lights are glowstone on an iron rod and in the corner here I've got quite a large table for groups. So you can decide to do whatever you want with your cafe. There are so many possibilities. Just remember, think carefully about your colour palette, about contrasts and complements and see what you can do.